Hey, it's Saturday, July 23rd, and here we are. We've got the elevator out. And uh, I did have a question on the last video about the screw sizes for the trim servo, uh, the trim actuator. I guess I call it a servo or an actuator. Um, the company that supplies the actual servo, Ray Allen, um, kind of in their directions, they imply that the holes on the corners of the servo uh, shouldn't be bigger than a six, number six screw, uh, but it calls for a number eight in the RANS instruction. Uh, I emailed RANS and they said they use a number eight, but um, I, I think I still want to use a number six. However, once you uh, once you get the skin on this elevator, you're not going to be able to get. It'd be pretty hard to get a rivet rivet puller down in there to replace that rivet. So we're going to leave the back. Or actually, these are the forward rivets or forward nut plates as a number eight, and we're going to replace these with a number six. So that's uh, what's on the slate for right now, and uh, we'll see what we get and go from there. Well, we're working away on this trim servo here, and uh, what we did was uh, to find a, this has to be, well, let's see, this should be in the middle when this trim tab is neutral, when it's there, and uh, so what we did was we found the halfway point of the travel of this, this trim servo, there's a little motor in here that's hooked up to a jack screw, and it turns this, uh, this actuator in and out. So we ran it all the way in, measured uh, where it starts, and then ran it all the way out, measured that distance, uh, cut it in half, and then, uh, I mean, split, split the difference, and then marked, I just put a little light mark on this and then ran it to that point. So at that point, we've got the clevises on here, and we'll, uh, we have to measure where we are at zero, and it's right about a quarter inch. And then we measured, uh, let's see, this is the rod that's supplied with, uh, with the trim servo. And we measured uh, the thread depth in each of those clevis. We were coming up with 0.65, I think it was, or 0.6, anyways. Um, yeah, 0.65. And then we measured the distance between uh, those two clevis on there, and it came up with the thread depth and mark that there. So we'll cut this off and then that will thread in either end of this. We'll take these off or take this off, thread them on there. There's that we've got some stop nuts we'll put on there. Thread that on there and then we can mount we can mount this trim tab to this servo. <laughs> We've got this measured out. Uh, it's not installed yet. We don't have the washers or anything like that in there, but this came out to uh, right where we measured it. It was a quarter inch between these two uh, clevises, and this trim servo is neutral at uh, halfway between its travel, and we are right, right at the neutral point of the trim tab. So now I'm just going to verify. I'm going to run this all the way out and all the way in. We're going to measure the angle on the trim tab to make sure that that's correct. Okay, we are uh, 21 degrees down at the max travel and 20 
25? 25 degrees max up travel and the tolerance on this is plus or minus three degrees so we're we're right on uh, or I mean we're plus one degree so we're okay there Another nice day here today. A little warm, but not as bad as it has been. I think we're in the upper 80s. Uh, I think I saw 85, 86 in the hangar. So not too bad overall. Uh, glad I'm not at Oshkosh right now. Looks like they just had a pretty huge thunderstorm roll through there, but I'm sure everything's fine. Um, but yeah, nice day. Well, we're calling it a day today. Uh, we did get pretty much everything done with that trim servo and I think we are ready to balance this elevator. Uh, we're not painting the airplane until after phase one or longer probably, you know, better part of a year. Uh, but so we can balance this elevator and um, get it installed. Um, what else did we do? We did uh, safety wired, uh, I don't know if, in case you saw it, we didn't have the hinge pins for the trim tab safety wired, so we got those three uh, hinge pins safety wired in. Those are good to go, and um, yeah, ran the trim tab up and down. Uh, everything's good there, and you can do that with just a 9-volt battery. Just use a 9-volt battery to test that and run it. It's kind of slow, but it works. Um, Got the cover trimmed up and installed, and everything's uh, marked with torque seal up in there. So, yeah, that's that's what we got done. Um, so we'll see what we do next uh, next time we're up here. So thanks for watching. Have a good evening, and that's it for now.